welcome to curious chemistry channel today we will be talking about dienes the nomenclature how to classify dienes and their stability in detail now what are dienes dienes are simply alkenes containing two carbon carbon double bonds otherwise there be two double bonds in an alkene then it is called as a diene or alkadiene these dienes are generally open chain hydrocarbons their general formula is cn h2n minus 2 n is an integer ranging from 3 4 5 etc now let us see how to name dienes so dienes are named by changing ane of alkanes by adiene usually the longest chain is chosen and they are numbered as 1 2 3 the carbon is numbered 1 2 3 3 and the carbon which is having a double bond is given a minimum number so let us understand this by taking an example ch2 double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch2 here we have four carbon atoms so it should be a derivative of butane and the double bond is with the first carbon and the third carbon so the name will be 1 3 butadiene the double bond is at the first carbon and the third carbon so it is 1 3 and there are four carbon so we have butane so ane is replaced by adiene so the name becomes 13 butadiene let us see another example ch2 double bond c double bond ch2 here we have three carbon atom so it should be a derivative of propane and the double bond is with first carbon and the second carbon then what should be the name now it is 1 2 propadiene i hope the naming is clear with these examples now how to classify dienes dienes are classified based on their position of the double bond they are classified into isolated dienes conjugated dienes and cumulated dienes what are isolated dienes if the double bonds are separated by more than one single bond then they are called as isolated dienes we know that dienes are the compounds with two double bonds so if the two double bonds are separated by more than one single bond then they are called as isolated dienes so let us say take an example 1,4 pentadiene it is named because it has a five carbon atoms and the double bond is with first carbon and the fourth carbon so it is 1,4 pentadiene if we see the structure clearly we can understand that the double bond is at the first carbon and the fourth carbon but in between that we have two single bonds so it is called as isolated diene or non conjugated diene next classification is conjugated dienes if the double bonds are separated by only one single bond then it is called as conjugated diene example 1,3 butadiene so ch2 double bond ch single bond ch double bond ch2 here if we see the double bond is at the first carbon and the third carbon so it is 1,3 butadiene in between these two double bonds we have only one single bond so it is a conjugated diene next is cumulated dienes if the double bonds are adjacent to each other then they are called as cumulated dienes meaning that there is no separation of the double bonds by a single bond example 1 2 butadiene here if we see there are four carbon atoms the double bond is at the first carbon and the second carbon so it is there is no single bond separating the two double bonds the double bonds are adjacent to each other so it is 1 2 butadiene we should keep in mind that the carbon with the double bond is given a least number so here it is 1 2 butadiene and otherwise it is a cumulated now let us see a 
about the stability of dienes. Based on the type of dienes, the stability differs. We have seen that there are three types of dienes, conjugated, cumulated and isolated dienes. Usually, conjugated dienes are more stable than the isolated or cumulated dienes. This was proved based on their heat of hydrogenation values. So what might be the reason for this extra stability of conjugated dienes? The conjugated dienes are said to have a shortened bond length which brings the electron density closer to the nuclei and delocalization of the electron density over all the orbitals. So because of these two, that is the shortening of bond length and delocalization of electron density over all the orbitals causes a decrease in the molecular energy which in turn stabilizes the molecule. We will see in detail how this bond length is shortened, how the electron density is delocalized over all the orbitals in detail now. Now let us understand the stability of conjugated dienes. So we will take an example 1,3-butadiene and understand the stability. 1,3-butadiene is CH2 double bond CH single bond CH double bond CH2. We have double bond at carbon 1 and carbon 3 and in between carbon 2 and carbon 3 we have a single bond. So the p orbitals at carbon 1 and carbon 2 will overlap to give a pi bond. Similarly the p orbitals at carbon 3 and carbon 4 overlap sidewise and give a pi orbital. Now the p orbitals in C2 and C3 will also overlap resulting in a conjugation. Because of this conjugation the bond length is affected which in turn affects the stability and energy of the molecule. To understand this clearly, let us take alkane, alkene and a diene. In a normal alkane, butane, the sigma bond between C1 and C2 will have a length of 1.53 angstrom. In the case of a butene, the pi bond between C1 and C2 will have a length of 1.32 angstrom. In the case of a diene, the length of bond between C2 and C3 is 1.47. This measured bond length between the second and third carbon of a diene is 1.47 which is in between the sigma bond length and the pi bond length. So it is not exactly equal to sigma bond or pi bond but rather in between these two. Because the p orbital in C2 and C3 overlap, the electrons are pulled closer and this decreases the bond length. So this is the reason the overlap of p orbitals between C2 and C3 resulting in the electrons close, coming closer resulting in the decrease of the bond length. Further, this butadiene has four resonance structures. The four resonance structures are given here. If we look into the structures, the structure 1 has a double bond at C1 and C2 and then C3 and C4. The remaining all the three structures will have a double bond between C2 and C3. So 3 of them has a double bond between C2 and C3 and only one structure has a single bond at C2 and C3. This indicates that this bond between C2 and C3 is not exactly single bond but resembles more towards that of a double bond. Because of this, the electron density is not localized at a particular carbon atom but it is distributed throughout the molecule resulting in a conjugation. Because of this conjugation, the bond length is reduced and the electron density is distributed all over the molecule resulting in the extra stability of the molecule and it get, molecule will have a lower energy. This results in the stability of conjugated dienes being more than isolated or cumulated dienes. Now, let us substantiate the stability of conjugated dienes based on their heat of hydrogenation values. Here in the table, 
we have taken three different examples 1 for pentadiene, 1 5 hexadiene and 1 3 butadiene. Of this the first two are isolated dienes and the third one is conjugated diene. So in 1 4 pentadiene we have two double bonds at carbon 1 and carbon 5. So the heat of hydrogenation value for one double bond is minus 125.6 joules per mole. In 1,4 pentadiene we have two double bonds so it is 2 into minus 125.6 so the calculated delta H for 1,4 pentadiene is minus 251.2 joules per mole. The same compound on heat of hydrogenation by experimental value was minus 254.6 joules per mole which is in almost similar to the calculated value. Similarly, for 1,5 hexadiene, if we look into it, the heat of hydrogenation value, the experimental one was minus 253.3 joules per mole, which almost agrees with the calculated value. But in 1,3 butadiene, if we see, the experimental value was minus 238.7 joules per mole, whereas the calculated value was minus 251.2 joules per mole. Why the experimental value for 1,3 butadiene does not agree with the calculated value was due to its extra stability. In 1,3 butadiene, we have seen that is stabilized by conjugation at C2 and C3, resulting in the shortening of bond length. Because of this, the electrons are pulled more towards the nuclei and the electron density is distributed throughout the molecule. Because of these two reasons, 1,3-butadiene is more stable than the isolated dienes or cumulated dienes. Here in the reaction, if we see, 1,3-butadiene on hydrogenation gives butane, whereas 1,4-pentadiene on hydrogenation will give pentane. The carbon at the third carbon will have sp3 hydridized orbital and there will not be any delocalization in 1,4 pentadiene whereas in 1,3 butadiene we have a delocalization and resulting in extra stability of the molecule. So conjugated dienes are more stable than isolated dienes. Let us go into an exercise of nomenclature of dienes. The first compound is we have seven carbon atoms so it should be a derivative of heptane and the double bond is at carbon 1 and carbon 6 so it is 1 6 heptadiene and it is a isolated diene next is ch2 double bond c ch3 ch double bond ch2 we have a methyl position at the second carbon so it is 2 methyl and the double bond is at the first carbon and the third carbon. So it is 2-methyl-1,3-butadiene. The common name is isoprin. The third example is CH2, double bond C, double bond CH2. So three carbon atoms, it's a propane derivative. And the double bond at the first carbon and the second carbon. So it is 1,2-propadiene. So far, we have seen about dienes. How to name dienes, classification of dienes and the extra stability of conjugated dienes. Hope you have understood the stability of dienes in detail. For dienes in Tamil, please watch Curious Chemistry channel. In the next lecture, we will be talking about the reactions of dienes, particularly 1,4 additions, 1,2 additions and Dale Solder reactions. Like, share and subscribe Curious Chemistry channel. Thank you.